I'll tell you something that bums me out is beautiful 100% page width websites that have little Google Maps boxes awkwardly stuck into one of the sections of the website. Uh, I've discovered how to pull something off in Muse that I think looks a bit better, and that's a 100% page width Google Map, uh, which means I can make my browser wider or more narrow, and the map fills horizontally into the available space. Uh, I think this is much more elegant. It scales nicely to mobile devices, and uh, it scrolls right on by without really breaking up the content. It gets its own big beautiful section like the website's other big beautiful sections. So how does this work? This is actually pretty darn easy. I'm gonna go to Google. Well, I'm actually just gonna Google New York City directly in my uh, in my address bar here. And then I'm gonna pull up Google Maps. Here is New York City and I can zoom in or out or customize my view of this however I like. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna position this like so. And now all I have to do is click on this little link icon over here, and it says paste HTML in, uh, or paste HTML to embed in website. So I can click on this and hit copy. I can go over to Muse, and I can just hit paste, which is wonderful. It'll automatically know to create an HTML little widget in here, and here I have my map. And if I zoom in, I can slide this wherever I want. I can position it however I want, but it's not going to look good because it's in a dinky little box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide it over to the edge until I get this little red line when I reach the edge. And then I'm going to grab the right edge of it. I'm going to stretch it all the way to the other edge, which the map doesn't seem to respond to that, but the container is now a 100% page with container. And the way that I know that is if I go and preview this in the browser, if I scroll down a little bit, as I make the browser bigger and smaller, the map is sticking to the left. It's not moving. See up above it how it says someone's photography? It's not moving with that. It's moving in spite of that. It's moving uh, and sticking to the left-hand side because it's inside a container that is trying to stick to both sides. Now the map is not filling the available space. That's a given. And there's a little trick to make that happen that I discovered sort of on accident. And to do that, I'm going to right click or on my laptop here, two finger click on my map. And I'm gonna go to edit HTML. And all I have to do is at the very beginning here, it says iframe width 425. That's pixels. I'm gonna change this to 100 followed by a percent sign. And I'm gonna change the height here to be a little taller. I'll go, I'll go 450 just for this example. And when I hit OK, it may or may not update to reflect that change. In my case, it did update to reflect that change. But no matter what, when you go to preview it in the browser, you will now have a 100% page width Google Map. Mine's a little cut off. My resolution is is uh, lowered for these tutorial videos, but uh, you can zoom size and scale uh, accordingly, but just make sure that that width value is set to 100% instead of just a numerical value, which will translate to pixels. So stretch the container out, get the container to hit both sides, and don't forget to go into the HTML and change that value to 100%. This is really great because you can customize the map before you do this. You can even do street view. If you're looking at street view in Google Maps before you copy and paste the code, you will end up with something like this. It will automatically copy and paste in a street view version of the map where people will be able to look around and navigate street view in 100% page width on your website. It is beautiful. It is mobile compatible. It really looks great. I highly recommend using it. If you like this tutorial and you like other tips and tricks, I got more coming at you soon, please subscribe.